Thank you very much, Jenna. Well, the deadline for your taxes is April 30th, and here to help you get every penny you can is Dan Chimetta joining us from Consolidated Credit. Let's talk about that, that deadline first off there. Uh, what happens if I don't have my taxes in by the 30th? Yeah, then you're, you're assessed a late penalty of 5%, and then 1% every month thereafter. So when you look at the 12-month course, you're looking at 17%. Wow. So it's, uh, it's pretty significant. We want to make sure that we file even before April 30th, that would be beneficial to everybody, I think. Yeah, especially the person who's putting it through processing it for me. Um, what happens, uh, although I don't have to file if they're going to owe me, right? If the government owes me money. But there's no benefit to you not to file because the government holds that money and you don't receive any benefit from, from interest. Right. So the money's better in your hand than it is in the government's hand. Almost always. Right. And it's my money. Exactly. This, this isn't a bonus, this isn't a reward, it's my cash that the government was, was using. Yeah, and you can use it for all kinds of different things, right? We could use it for paying down debt is a great one. A lot of people will take their tax returns and put it towards their highest interest rate debt which is a good idea if you're carrying that kind of a debt load. And if you're not, then maybe investing it into a TFSA or maybe an RESP mm -hmm. for your children's education uh, or an RRSP. And that way you're kind of sliding down your effective tax rate for the next year. Which is a great point because that's money that I hadn't planned on using uh, in my regular budgets anyways. So why not put it towards something sort of extra money? Why not put it towards that? Exactly. Let's save some people some money though. So, uh, so give me some tips for making sure that I get every penny that they owe me. Well, I think uh, it's diligence throughout the course of the year, planning effectively and I think the budget can help to support that in that you'll know what you've spent on certain items and if you've kept receipts it's it's important as well right uh, oftentimes people lose receipts for medical uh, expenses so what I recommend is going to uh, you know an, a large national retailer as an example and uh, that way they have a central database for all of the things that I've done so a person like me who travels an awful lot right I can go to uh, you know one of those kind of drug marts in Winnipeg, get a prescription, and then when I'm back in Toronto doing my taxes, I'm still able to get those receipts. It's all on file. Um, I mentioned the cell phone earlier. How can my personal cell phone uh, be a business expense? Yeah, if you're using it for business, I mean, you still have to prove it, right? So it's important for you to keep your receipts uh, or your your bills, if you will, if they're broken down into you know calls uh, and the numbers and all the details. Uh, the other thing you can do is get a T2200, which is a, uh, a form that you can get from the CRA website, okay. uh, Declaration of Terms of Employment. So if you're required to use your cell phone as part of an employment contract, Contract, then uh, your employer will sign off on that and allow you to receive some benefits back on that as well. Okay, so there's an additional form on that. So I have. Give me one more way I can say when it comes to uh, my taxes. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's things like you know different uh, education practices with your kids, maybe day daycares, these kinds of things. Uh, really going to the CRA website, I think you'd be surprised to see all of the things that you could. Uh, to do rebates with, right? Uh, but the the problem is people just fail to do it because they feel that if I if I do too many rebates, I'm going to be assessed, and that's not the case. Assessments are really done uh, at random. So it's really and it's really about proving those things as well. Want to recap some of those because Dan's always got so much information that we want to make sure that you don't miss anything. So recap some of those. First off, get organized. It's not a April 29th thing. It's a year round thing. You want to file on time, or as Dan said earlier, if you can. Find those tax credits, lots of links for you on breakfasttelevision.ca. Don't forget about things like uh, transit student loans and things like that. Your student can actually save you some money, mom and dad. Your cell phone, if you can prove it, can actually save you. And don't forget that child care as well because that can be a big difference for a lot of people when it comes to their budgets. More information on breakfasttelevision.ca. Gonna take a break, there's still plenty to come today on BT. Cause I'm the tax man. Man. I dig it.